department. Welcome to the Virtual Transfer College Fair for all Virginia students, sponsored by the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Counselors and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the presenters cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at strivescan.com slash Virginia. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website. Today we are in session B1, and I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Bradford University. Thank you guys for joining us this evening. My name is Opal Merchant and I am the Associate Director for Transfer Recruitment at Radford. Thank you for joining us and I would like to share a little bit of information with you about my alma mater. We are a mid-sized institution located in the beautiful New River Valley area of Virginia. We are located about five hours from DC and about three hours from the Richmond area we have a little over 9,000 undergraduate and graduate students. Our student body is comprised of 50% female and 32% of our students are first generation. So we do have a very diverse um, student body on campus. At Radford, we have well over 108 academic programs, all housed within the academic colleges shown on the right side of your screen. Our most popular majors include education, nursing, business, computer science, and criminal justice. Our visual and performing arts programs are also well known. Students have the opportunity to learn and study in state-of-the-art classrooms and labs and be taught by professors who hold terminal degrees in their areas of expertise. The average classroom size on campus is 29 students. The faculty to student ratio is 16 to one. And as you can see, fewer than 3% of our classes are taught by graduate assistants. So students will have lots of opportunities to receive hands-on experience and direct interaction with not only their professors, but also their peers within the classroom. On the left side of your screen, you'll notice a list of resources available to our students. Each of these centers provide resources to help students be successful while studying at Radford. Details about each of these centers can be found on the website. The right side of your screen highlights our campus engagement activities. We are Division I and we are in the Big South Conference for athletic teams. We have hundreds of clubs and organizations for our students to become involved in, things that range from clubs within each academic major to social and service organizations. So we do encourage our students to get involved. Um, you guys will be able to meet students from all around the world. Please also note that we are not a residential campus for transfers. Um, you guys do have the option of living on campus. And just this year, we um, created a uh, transfer housing uh, community for um, students who do want to live on campus that allows them to meet and mingle with other transfer students um, and be able to really uh, bond and create some relationships. Finances and affordability. I know this side is very important to a lot of our incoming students and their families. Radford prides ourselves in being very affordable for all of our students. Our in and out of state costs are shown on the bottom of the screen and 78% of our students receive some form of merit and or need based aid. We do have scholarship opportunities available for exceptional students who apply and additional cost um, or additional information about the breakdown of our costs can be found on our financial aid website. How to apply. 
A lot of our students, um, of course, this is very important. We're starting to receive applications for our spring and fall 21 classes. Um, students can submit the online web-based application or they can submit the Common App. We also need official college transcripts from any and all schools attended. High school transcripts are only required for students who have not completed a college level math or if they've completed less than 24 credit hours. When in doubt about the high school transcript, please reach out to the office um, and we can speak to you about that. Another piece of good news is that we don't charge an application fee. Um, as far as our application deadlines, um, the deadline for the spring term is actually coming up on November 1st. And then for fall term, uh, the priority deadline is March 1st. If you need to get in touch with the office regarding your application, our contact information is at the bottom of the screen. We would love to hear from you. Um, and we do encourage you to check out our virtual information session as well as our campus tour. Um, I'm sure I'm approaching time, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop my screen sharing and uh, go ahead and turn it over to the next speaker. But thank you guys for joining us today and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder, you can submit your questions to the Q&A box at any time and now we'll be hearing from Catawba College. Good evening. I hope you guys are doing well today. I am Alicia Parsons. I am Catawba College. We are a small college in Salisbury, North Carolina. Um, we have about 1,300 students on campus and about 84% of our uh, first-time freshman students live on campus. It's not a toy to live on campus, so if you are going to um, have to be an um, off-campus student, you're more than welcome to uh, live off-campus. Again, we have 1,300 students. We have very small class sizes, about 15 um, students per class. Once you get into more of your major programs, you're going to have more than around six to eight students in that class. We have uh, five major schools here at Catawba, School of Arts and Science, School of Business, School of Education, School of Health and Science and Human Performance, and School of Performing Arts. Our School of uh, Business and uh, School of Health and Science and uh, Human Performance are one of our bigger schools here at Catawba. Yeah. And having some issues with your audio location, I, it's just a little muffled. Okay. I'm not sure what else to do here. It, it sounds good right now. No. Okay. Um, we don't have any um, teach, uh, teacher ass assistance in our classrooms, and um, we have a 12 to 1 ratio with our student and faculty. We do have the option of undecided or open mind for our students where they declare and develop their own nature and meet with their own um, with their advisor and say business and communication to learn, merge their programs. Sorry to interrupt again. It's just, uh, wait, I missed a lot of that and I, I'm assuming most of the participants did as well. Um, it's just coming out muffled again. Okay. Sorry. I'm not sure what to do at this point because I don't have any other headphones in here. Let me see. Okay. As you can see, these are some of our um, clubs and organizations. We have over 23 uh, different athletic programs um, and 11 intramural programs. Of course, you brought me in work. I apologize. To um, transfer to Catawba, there's uh, different ways you can we'll accept up to 64 uh, credits from community college, up to 90 credits from a four year institution in Catawba. Um, these are all going to be determined by our registrar's office. 
percent of our students will receive some type of financial aid. Uh, we uh, our students will receive a merit scholarship between eight thousand to twelve thousand dollars. There's also scholarships available through talent, need, and departmental scholarships, all able to find on our website. As you can see, the top some audio issues. Would you like us to maybe go on to the next one and then come back? See if you can adjust something. That will be fine. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. Um, we'll just move on to UVA Wise and then we'll come back to Catawba College at the end um, just so that we can get all that information. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you see my screen? Not yet. I'll stop sharing. Why don't you try again? Okay, now we can see it. Okay, thank you. All right, good evening everyone. My name is Jamie Rose and I'm the Director of Admissions and Transfer Counselor at UVA WISE. Um, so I just want to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about UVA WISE. Um, we were founded in 1954 and we have always been an affiliated division campus of the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Um, we are a much smaller scale. We only have around 2,000 students total um, and we are also um, located in far southwest Virginia um, with only about 2,000 students. Our student and faculty ratio is only about 13 to 1, uh, which is very important when you're looking at advising and making those um, next steps and career plans. Um, so here on the map, you can actually see where we are located. So if you need some reference points, we are only about 30 minutes away um, from the state of Kentucky and only about an hour away from the state of Tennessee. Um, if you're in Virginia, we're around three hours from Roanoke um, and about five hours away um, from Richmond. So on this slide, you can see all of our majors um, that we offer in the first two columns. Um, on the far right hand side, you can see all of our pre-professional programs as well. Um, we typically have minors as well in most all of these programs. Um, I mentioned before, as far as the small class sizes, you have faculty members that serve as your advisors. Um, so we're very proud of that. We have very high acceptance rates into graduate professional schools. And a lot of that comes back to those close relationships. Professors not only know you as a student, but they also know know what your plans are um, after graduation, what kind of schooling that is, um, or if that is going into the job force. Um, we also have great academic support, tutoring for all of our students. We have an undergraduate research symposium across all disciplines on campus um, that is funded. So we will send students to conferences, let them present um, and put the bill for that. On the picture there, you can see one of our biology professors working with a student um, in an MM NMR spectrometer uh, working on some undergraduate research. So the science department has a little bit of a different program. Theirs is actually funded, so it is an endowed scholarship program if you are in a science major EBA wise. Another program that we have recently just started is our Innovate to Elevate program. Um, we have partnered with Apple as an Apple school. So all of our students have the access to um, iPad, pencil, and uh, keyboard. Um, so that's open to all incoming freshman student and all incoming transfer students. So you can use that while you're on campus at UVA WISE at no extra cost. Um, you can also save on money looking at textbook costs because you can get free downloadable um, versions of your textbooks. Students love the Notability app. You can airdrop things to your professor. So it's really changed how we're doing things in the classroom um, and research as well. With athletic teams, um, here you have a listing of our men's and women's teams. Uh, we are in NCAA Division II and we are in a South Atlantic Conference. So if anyone's interested in athletics, please reach out to our um, coaches. You can do that on the website. Um, student life is very robust on our campus. We have over 50 clubs and organizations. Naturally, just where we are located, we have a great outdoor recreation program. They do everything from tandem skydiving, deep sea fishing, whitewater rafting, um, skiing, tubing. Most of those events are free to our students. 
We also have intramural sports um, that can be anything from flag football, soccer, um, intertube water polo. Um, I mentioned yesterday we actually have national cornhole champions um, that receive their rings, so that was on social media. We have other cl clubs and organizations, Student Activities Board. Um, they do things like a Glow Rage paint party, Cavapalooza, which is a big carnival. So we definitely have a lot of things for our students to do while they're on campus. So looking a little bit about um, investing in your future in financial aid, we have great scholarships. We have a great endowment on our campus. We award over $19 million in financial aid and over 90% of our students do qualify um, for some type of financial aid. We also have been ranked um, for a couple years now as far as having students graduating with the least amount of debt. Um, so we know that's very important, especially if you're looking at going on for a graduate degree um, or some kind of professional program. Also for Virginia residents, um, we have a program which is called Within Reach. So you have to be a Virginia resident, your income has to be $40,000 or less working towards your first bachelor's degree. Um, if you qualify for that program, then UVA WISE will pick up the cost for your full tuition and fees um, while you're a student at UVA WISE. Um, so looking at transfer students, of course, you can do the Common App, our online application. We have articulation agreements with community college system and do guaranteed admission. We only need your high school information if you have less than 30 transferable hours. Um, we do require transcripts from all colleges. There at the bottom, you can kind of see how many um, transfer students we have um, coming in. We do spring semester admission um, and fall semester admission as well. So you can see all of our contact information um, here on this last slide. We are actually open. We are doing campus tours in person. Um, we can show you everything from the residence halls to the student center, dining hall, um, all the other support offices that you have on campus. So we would love if you guys would um, want to come visit campus and entertain you for the day. We are also doing Saturday information sessions um, and virtual sessions on Tuesdays, um, along with some on-site application sites. Those will be um, on our website as well. So please contact us if you have any questions and thank you for your time. Thank you. Next we'll be hearing from Liberty University. Well, good evening, y'all. Uh, my name is John. Um, I'm a national recruiter here at Liberty University, and uh, that means I have the privilege of traveling all across the United States and telling students about uh, Liberty University, obviously, uh, because of the time we're in. I haven't had that privilege in a long time. However, I am glad to be with you here tonight. Liberty University is one of the world's largest Christian universities, and uh, we do have over 200 undergraduate degree programs. Now, what you're seeing here is going to be uh, just a glimpse of our over 7,000 acre campus uh, located in central Virginia, Lynchburg to be specific. We're about two hours west of Richmond, an hour east of Roanoke, an hour I'd say about south, southwest of Charlottesville, and about an hour uh, and a half north of Greensboro. But some of the academics I'd love to highlight tonight are going to be, uh, for example, our School of Business, um, which uh, is our newest academic facility, uh, opened fall 2019. Students are currently attending classes uh, in those buildings. We have our uh, School of Music. It's the seventh largest school of music in the country. Um, school of Nursing, as well as Engineering um, and Aviation. Now, something to note is that uh, we do have a 24 to 1 student to professor ratio. And then uh, on campus, about 15,000 students do attend classes, like I said, on campus. Um, however, have no fear. Uh, again, as you get into some of your more major courses, uh, you do start to uh, slim that number down. I know that even from my experience, when I graduated in 2018, I did see kind of the students kind of shave off as I got towards uh, my major courses. And so, like I said, you're going to get into those smaller courses. Like I said, we are represented by all 50 states and over 50 countries. Uh, we do have study abroad opportunities. And then also we do have a partnership with the Virginia Community College System. So wherever you may be attending right now, um, we can definitely see how uh, your courses would transfer in. Uh, something else we're really proud of at Liberty is that we are a division one school. We have 20 NCAA division one sports that we would love uh, for you to come and check out. Uh, one of those is gonna be football. Uh, our football team is FBS. Uh, we did compete in our first bowl game this past year in 2019 uh, in the Cure Bowl against Georgia Southern and we were able to claim 
uh, our first bowl victory ever. And so we're super excited about that. And we're excited to be kicking off a season uh, this coming Saturday. Now, if you don't want to play NCAA, that is okay. We do have uh, an additional 40 club sports teams that you could also take part in, whether it's uh, disc golf, whether it's ultimate frisbee, whether it's paintball. Um, I believe another one what we would have is going to be beach volleyball, just to give you an idea of a couple of the sports that you could play. Now looking at on-campus life, um, we do have three styles of dorms. Uh, first one is going to be our uh, hotel style. Then we have our apartment style, which is going to be like a three bedroom, three bathroom apartment. And then we have our classic uh, dorm room style. Uh, that's going to be a long hallway, two to three people per room, and then you're going to have a communal bathroom. But Prices do vary when you consider that. As we keep looking at on-campus life, we do uh, promote different outdoor events. For example, this is uh, our block party that we have at the start of every academic year to promote students to get involved with any of our over 100 student-led clubs from things like engineering uh, to pro-life movement to music to business clubs, anything that you can think of, we do have it. Um, I just learned today we have an eSports team if that's something that you'd like to be a part of. But also, uh, if you're big into working out, we have a uh, beautiful La Haye Rec and Fitness Center with over over five basketball courts, four racquetball courts. Um, we have volleyball courts, indoor hockey or indoor soccer fields. We have a, a La Haye ice rink that you could also, uh, you know, play around at if you wanted to play broom ball or something. Uh, we also have Snowflex, which is something very uh, uh, unique to Liberty, where if you want to do year-round skiing, snowboarding, uh, or tubing, you could also do that. And the thing is, you can do it with a lot of your friends. And so at Liberty, we do have a 42 to 58 percent male to female ratio, so you never have to worry about. Uh, you know, finding somebody like you, but also somebody not like you. Um, when we look at cost at Liberty University, we are uh, a private university, and so we are in the lower 25% of all private universities when considering cost. Uh, now, looking at taking a step even further into that, we achieve that status by uh, having 96% of our students receive some form of financial aid, which, in, uh, which when your mind may immediately go to uh, loans, we also offer need-based grants and scholarships. And so, we even have transfer scholarships. So that'd definitely be something to check out. And so if you're also even worried more so about your finances, we do want to assist you, again, fighting the cost of college by offering student work as well as work study positions. Now, I'm going to pause on the slides because I want to talk admissions real quick. Um, applying to Liberty is super easy. We don't have a common app. Um, all you do is you would uh, fill out your application. We are not test optional for the 2021 academic year. We are asking that students make every effort possible as safely as possible uh, to go ahead and be taking those tests, whether it be the SAT or the ACT or even the CLT. But something that you should know ahead of time is that no matter how many times that you do take those tests, we do want to honor the efforts that you do take and we do super score. And again, those super scores uh, and your unweighted high school GPA will play into some of the scholarships that you will have available to you. You. Now, in terms of support, we have a couple offices that I want to highlight, um, and really it's housed by our office, our College of Applied Studies and Academic Success, uh, by utilizing things like peer mentoring, so for example, upperclassmen uh, tutoring you, as well as uh, professional advising services, as well as testing services. We are there to make sure that you are having the most successful and positive college experience as possible. And so professional advisors will help plan your courses with you. Uh, our peer mentors will help edify you as you go through your classes. And then our testing center will help you uh, achieve any exemptions you might want to, uh, to meet. So for example, if you want to clep out of English 101 or you need to prep for uh, your LSAT or your MCAT, you can also take those tests there now, when it comes to cost and scholarships, I will revisit um, that. Our tuition per academic year is $23,800. We haven't seen an increase in cost in the last three academic years, so you can pretty much bank on that. Um, if you want to visit us, we're doing virtual tours. Uh, we also are recommending Experience LU. You can check out more at liberty.edu forward slash visit us. And last but certainly not least, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 800-543-5317. And last but certainly not least, feel free to give us a text if you would like to claim your app waiver to 49596-JT. Back to you, Anna. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Johnson & Wales University. Hi, my name is Marisa Marcy, and I'm joined by my colleague, Stacy Thomas, and we are both Johnson & Wales University admissions representatives. We both live in Virginia. At Johnson & Wales, you get a lot of personal attention, and it starts right now at the college search process. We um, actually have two campus locations. We were founded in Providence, Rhode Island, way back in 1914, so there's a long history and tradition 
We're a very cutting edge institution though. Uh, Providence, Rhode Island is a beautiful city. It's actually been dubbed College Town, USA. It's such a great place to study. And our newer campus is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte is the second largest financial district in the country. It's a very beautiful city. It's a major league city that's as warm and friendly as a small town. And just to give you an idea, we are right in the heart of Uptown. Uh, this building here is one of our residence halls. And if you can see this right over here, that is Panther Stadium. So uh, if you're thinking about sports entertainment event management, as you can see, Johnson & Wales is a great place to be. Um, either campus is a wonderful place to transfer into. Uh, Johnson Wells is known for its welcoming, inclusive communities. And what really sets us apart is our philosophy of learning by doing. We don't have any huge lecture halls at Johnson & Wales. You are going to be actually doing hands-on work in industry simulated labs. And it makes it very exciting, very dynamic, very real world based. Uh, the class sizes are small too, uh, especially in your major. Uh, this is our average faculty to student ratio. It's even smaller in your major. And what's really nice is that your class will always be taught by the instructor, never taught by a TA. And our instructors are phenomenal. They all have rich, industry experience, having done what they're teaching, and they're amazing teachers too. They, they really do become your mentors. And what's neat is you will jump right into your major as soon as you start at Johnson & Wales, no matter which point you transfer into. Um, and here is a list of all of our majors. We have more than 50 of them, covering everything from business and culinary arts to engineering, technology, health and wellness, liberal studies. Uh, all of them lead to exciting careers. A lot of people know Johnson & Wales for our College of Culinary Arts, and we've actually recently renamed that into the College of Food Innovation and Technology. So while you can still learn the classics, become an executive chef or a restaurateur, it's so much more than that too. It's covering everything from the sustainability of food to the culture of food, nutrition, dietetics, again, very cutting edge. But no matter what you're majoring in at Johnson & Wales, uh, you will always eat well, whether you're a business or a health major. And here's what's really most important. We have a 97.7% .7 career outcomes rate. And what that means is almost all of our grads are doing what they want to do, whether it's working in their chosen major or going on to medical school, law school for their MBA. And by the way, Johnson & Wales does have graduate programs and we have accelerated programs for things like MBAs and law school. How we have that much, much higher than the average rate is through our phenomenal internship program. Johnson Wells is a leader when it comes to experiential education. We have internship sites all across the country and all across the globe. Uh, actually, more than half of our internships pay and 71% of our students receive job offers after their paid internship. Another thing is that as a student at the campus, you will have access to career conferences, all the movers and shakers of the field you wanna go into attend these conferences. So you will network like you have never seen before. And you know that old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. We have a beautiful diversity at all of our campuses. Um, if you combine all of our campuses, it's about 12,000 students. And there's always something going on from fraternities, sororities, athletics, we're NCAA D3 in Providence, USCAA in Charlotte. You can do as much or as little as you want, but you'll never be bored. As a transfer student, it's your option if you would like to live on or off campus. We have everything from suite style living to on-campus apartments. Um, as far as applying, we're on the Common App. We have our own app. Um, you can still do a paper app if you'd like. Just send us that along with your high school and your college transcripts. We're on the semester system. Uh, there's, you can apply throughout the year and our terms start at the end of August for the fall term in January for the spring term. A lot of great financial aid for transfer students. We value your educational experience with up to $14,000 a year in renewable scholarships. You don't need to apply for them separately. They're awarded through the application process. Of course, the FAFSA, we have one FAFSA code listed here for both campuses. 94% of our students receive financial aid and GI Jobs has chosen us as a top military friendly school. So we accept the GI Bill, uh, the Yellow Ribbon Program, rightly of course for our veterans who so richly deserve that or their dependents if they want to transfer that to them. We have a generous transfer 
policy. Um, if you go to our website, you'll, you can easily type in the courses you're taking and see if they transfer. And we also have a guaranteed admissions program for seamless transmission in. Just go to our website. We hope you'll come visit our beautiful campuses. We have both virtual tours and in-person tours. And if you go to this website, you can sign up for them. And here's Stacy's contact info and my contact info. Please don't hesitate to contact us. We'd be happy to serve you. And go Wildcats! Thank you. And now we're going to come back to Catawba College. I'm first going to try. Can you guys hear me okay? Sounds better. Okay, I apologize for everything that has happened or earlier today. I'm going to try to um, wrap this up really quick for you guys and fly through the slides and I'll slow down there towards the end so you can see everything that um, we had been going through earlier. Because I don't know if you were able to hear everything or not. So again, Catawba College is a small private um, co college with, from Salisbury, North Carolina. We've got about 1,300 students on campus, and we have about 84% of our students that are first-time freshmen living on campus. We have five different schools, as I mentioned before, and we also have a way for you to declare an uh, open-minded or undecided major where you will meet with two different advisors and develop that major. We have over 70 academic programs, no teaching assistants on teaching, I'm sorry, teacher assistants on campus. So if whoever you have in your biology class will be the same professor that you have in your lab. We have over 40 clubs and organizations that are on our campus. If we don't have one that you are interested in, we encourage our students to develop their own. All of our clubs and organizations are student-led. We are a Division II athletics team, and we have 23 different athletic sports here at Catawba, with beach, beach volleyball being one of our newest one to join the group. Uh, we are one of two beach volleyballs uh, in the state of North Carolina. In order to transfer credits here at North Carolina, we um, there's multiple different ways. Um, we, we, it, we do accept all uh, majority of credits, I can't speak, um, from community colleges and four-year institutions. We'll take up to 64 credit hours from community college and up to 90 credit hours from a four-year institution. We do as well have merit scholarships and talent, need, and department scholarships all available for you. Um, all transfer students will receive up to uh, uh, some type of uh, transfer or merit scholarship on entry of admissions, um, ranging from anywhere from $8,000 to $12,000. We also have talent um, scholarships available, FAFSA, and our codes located there at the bottom. And we also have departmental scholarships, which you can find on the website. We do offer Phi Theta Kappa scholarships of, of up to $1,000. If you are interested in um, applying that way, you just need to um, submit a certificate that you are a member of Phi Theta Kappa. We are also work well with our veterans and offer many veteran benefits here at Catawba. These are some of the um, different chapters that we work with. It's easy to apply to here at Catawba. Just go to www.catawba.edu if you want to get there faster at backslash at apply at the end. We ask for a high school transcript. Um, any additional um, college transcripts that you have been um, that you have been to over your time past high school and a transfer reference form. We, um, we will look at all transcripts. We like to look at the average over 2.0 or higher. Um, if you're transferring in with under 24 credit hours, we ask for um, you to submit your test scores as well. If you need any or uh, have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. My email is and um, phone number here listed, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to check out the full schedule at strivescan.com slash Virginia. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as the other recording at the same website. Thank you all.
España. 